everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking some silk floral arrangements and transforming them for fall. Okay, so right here in front of me I have two separate arrangements. I had someone ask uh, if I could do a centerpiece for fall. So that is what I'm going to do. This is an arrangement that I normally have on this little shelf right next to me. I have it down at the bottom. So I'm going to transform it into an arrangement that I can put some little pumpkins and some little bit of uh, orange flowers. Now, here, this is the height, and this is as high as I can go, so I'm not going to go any higher on this. And uh, this other one here is something that I had uh, pretty much at my mantle, or I've had it here on the same table as a centerpiece. So this is going to be something that I'm going to make as an actual centerpiece, which you can see from all the way around. So I'm basically just going to take out the pink flowers here and just add in some fall and some berries and maybe some little pumpkins. So let me go ahead and get my little supplies here in front of me so I can show you what I'm going to be using for that. All right, so in this arrangement, there's some pink flowers that I mentioned that I'm going to be pulling out. It does have these yellow flowers, but they might work. I'm not really sure about that yet. I do have these cream kind of hydrangea, and I think I want to use that, plus I have some extra flowers here that I could also use. Um, I do have these beautiful, nice big flowers here. They look like mums to me. I'm not really sure. I forgot all my flowers, you guys. But I think I'm going to use that on that other arrangement that I have down here. And since this already has something cream in there. So I want to, I want to replace what's pink in both and the other, the other one. It has some blue. So I'm going to take the blue and the pink out of that one. So I'm going to replace all the pink and put in some oranges. I'm also oh, probably going to replace some of this uh, darker leafy greens and add in some fall. So I have some uh, flowers here. These are from the Dollar Tree, by the way. Uh, the flowers that are in this arrangement are not from the Dollar Tree. I think I got those either at Hobby Lobby or I purchased them at a flower shop. Uh, well, a uh, supply, a floral supply store. Anyway, um, so these flowers are from the Dollar Tree. And here I've got like little uh, wheat, kind of a type of a, a filler. That's what I'm calling a filler. And then I've got these like uh, bittersweets and some other little purple flowers and these. I think I use these for Halloween. So actually I'm going to mix those, forgive me. But I do have these little orange ones and then I have this burnt orange, which I think is so pretty. But it is a hydrangea and I don't know if I want to put a hydrangea with another hydrangea. So I might be uh, leaving these yellow roses in there and maybe just adding some little oranges because I do have, uh, okay, I also have some uh, some little berry stems here and I used these last week in the wreath that I showed you how to transform it. It was one wreath and four looks. And then I've also got these stems that have some little pumpkins in there. So I could also use these in this arrangement because like, like I said, this arrangement is going to be a centerpiece. We so can be as tall as I want it to be. Uh, normally, if you want a centerpiece to stay, this is just a little tip, if you want a centerpiece to stay in the middle of a, of a table, uh, then you want to make it short so that you can see over it when you're talking to people as you're sitting. But if it's just a decora decorative a centerpiece that you want to keep there, you don't, you're not going to sit there, you can just remove it, put it out of the way, and you can make it as tall as you want, as wide as you have space on your table. So I'm going to make that one nice and tall, and it already has some twigs, which I'm going to leave in there. And then I also have these little pumpkins, little gourds here uh, that I can use also in my arrangement. And I think I want to use them in the other arrangement because it does have uh, those big blue hydrangeas in there and those can be replaced. So that's why I decided to pick this. I do have another bucket of things here down here at the bottom next to me with some more little pumpkins and such. So if I feel like maybe these are too big or if I need an extra one, I can just grab from there. I also have some ribbon because I might just go ahead and put a bow maybe on both. I do have a bow already made that I did use on that wreath from last week as well. So I'm probably going to use that and then this. And then I've got some tools here and I'm going to be using my hot glue gun and I've got some glue sticks for that. I've got some floral sticks. These are little wooden picks. Uh, you can pretty much use like a maybe like a really stiff wire uh, stems if you want to use that. Uh, but I've also got some floral tape here in case one stick is not long enough and I have to put two together. I do have some floral wire extra here just in case I need it for something. And then I also have my wire cutters and my scissors. And yeah, if I wanted to make another bow, I would do need another chenille stem because I do have this wrapped around with a chenille stem. But then again, I did bring my floral wire so I can just use that. Just so you know, floral wire or chenille stem to wrap a bow. All right, everyone, let's get to creating this 
first I'm going to start removing uh, the flowers that I don't want in there and some of the greenery and then I can look at it and we can decide what I can put in it. All right, forgive me. I have a little fan going here so you might hear that noise in the background. Uh, I hope it's not too loud and you can hear me just fine. Okay, so this is going to be the first one that I'm going to do uh, because I want to go ahead and put it back down there because it's right next to me. So I thought I'd start with this one and as you can see it's got some blue flowers and some pink flowers and then it's got these little cream colored berries and I kind of like the little cream colored berries so I'm probably going to leave that out. So I'm going to try and do this arrangement without removing everything because in my head I can't just like remove something and then put something else in there. In my head I have to just remove everything completely and start over clean and um, maybe some of you are like that and you have that same problem that I do. <laughs> I consider it a problem because it's time, it takes up too much time when I could just remove some items and just leave everything else that's in there and then just put in some stuff. So this is what I want to do. So this is a little bit of work for me, something to learn, something new for me. So I'm going to remove the pink flowers first, the little tulips. And I'm going to leave those little berries in here because this is already telling me the height of, you know, these little greens here are telling me the height of what my arrangement can be to fit in this little shelf area. Okay. So remove that. It's raining outside, by the way, guys. <laughs> Not the best thing for me, but I love the rain. I just, my body doesn't. Okay, so I'm going to remove these blue flowers. Now, this arrangement, the way that it is, I actually used it when I had my, my grandson's baby shower, and I actually made this arrangement in one of my videos, but then I added some pink flowers because it was spring and so forth, and, you know, just had to add some color in there. So it's kind of bittersweet removing this because it was, for the baby shower although he's already here as most of you know and I'm very happy <laughs> my little grandson okay try not to remove the other stuff while I put these out I'll be right back as soon as I've got everything out okay so now that I've taken off the flowers that I don't want in there because they're not going to go with the colors for my fall season uh, I've got this here and I've gone ahead and I've like I said I've left the berries and I've gone ahead and left the greenery and the reason that I left the greenery is that it does have some little bits of a little orange tinge on the edges. And I could just grab some more fall leaves, which I didn't grab, but I can just go grab them and then add a little bit of that just to give it that, that fall look. Okay, so I'm going to start off by adding a little pumpkin. And I want the little pumpkin right here. Now, as you can obviously see, it's not sitting on something. It is up here. So we need to add a stick to it in order to be able to insert it. So I've got these little sticks, but obviously they're not quite long enough to go into the styrofoam that's in there and into the pumpkin. So I'm going to have to put two of these together. But the way that I add a, uh, a pick, and some of them have a little bit of a point at one end, and they do come with little wires on them, but I take them all off because I pretty much don't even use that little wire. I just use my my floral wire that I already have. And some of these will not come with the, with the um, wire. They're just gonna look like a big giant toothpick. You can use those instead because they're already a nice length. But I happen to have these little shorty ones so that's what I'm going to use. Now to put the pick in there, I use my hot glue gun and I'm hoping it's hot enough. Yes, it is. And the tip is hot. Okay, and I use that to melt in a little hole into it. So gotta break into that little the little skin, the little outer skin, the little plastic on here, and the inside of it is obviously just styrofoam. So now that I've done that, I've melted into it, I can go ahead and put my little stick in there, but I'm actually going to put some glue on it so it'll, you know, be in there and it won't fall out. And there we go. Just put a little stick, and this length is fine if I was going to put it down here, okay, at the bottom, which I will do to the other ones, but to this one, because I want to make it longer, I'm going to go ahead and grab another stick. Let me go ahead and lay this down flat on the table here. And I think you can see. There we go. Forgive me. I, I don't have the uh, physical ability right now to get up and down as much as I've been able to before to adjust my camera uh, for you. So please uh, bear with me. And I hope that you can see. I, I at least wanted to get a video out instead of not have anything at all uh, this week. So let's go ahead and uh, get some a piece of wire. And I'm going to put these two sticks together. I'm going to overlap them maybe a couple of inches because the, the this is kind of heavy. Now, if it was a light, you know, just a little flower that I wanted to make taller and uh, that I don't have to have them, maybe just overlap an inch or so. But this is kind of heavy, so I'm going to overlap them about a couple of inches. And if I have to add another stick, I will. Okay, so then just use your wire 
to first wrap around nice and tight. Leave a little end out, okay? Leave a little end out when you start and start wrapping downward and then come right back up and then grab the two little ends and then twist them together. And I'm just twisting the actual, the whole thing instead of, you know, the little wire here. So it tightens up into, into it, okay? So I'll just fold those little ends and put them flat up against the stick so they're not poking outward. And then you'll take your floral tape like so. And floral tape, if you, when you first open it, it's not sticky at all, so you're probably wondering, you know, why? If this is your first time using a floral tape, or if you've used it before, or you, you know, you purchased it, but you haven't used it because you couldn't figure it out how the heck it works. Well, the thing is that you have to stretch it a tiny bit, and when you do that, that releases the, the stickiness on it. So you just start off with the end, pull on it just a little bit. Don't pull on it too much. You'll break it, or you'll tear it. And then just start rolling it around, stretching it and pressing it in with your thumb as you go around. So stretch with your fingers here, right, as you're grabbing it and pulling on it. And then you roll it around and push it down with your thumb and even use this finger to push down on it. And that helps. And I'm going to go all the way down to make sure that I wrap right where they're joining, go a little bit further down, and then I'm just going to turn right back up and go right up again. So you're getting a little bit of a how to do floral arrangements here a little lesson on that and I think we've done that before I think I've done that before but if this is your first time watching my videos and you want to see whoa how in the world do we do this that is how you do it so there we go it's now wrapped in there and it is now stable and I can stick it in there so I'm going to check and the way that I check is I grab my arrangement and my stem whatever it is if it's a flower or a little pumpkin like this and I put it up against my you know the container and I decide well this is how high I want it to be so I've got this whole piece down here, if you can see the stick right here. I've got this whole piece still that's enough to go into my styrofoam. So you just want to make sure that you have enough for your height and enough to go into your styrofoam where it'll be nice and stable. Don't just go like an inch in there. Make sure you go further in because this is a heavy item. If it was a flower, it wouldn't matter. Something like it wouldn't matter. But this is a heavy pumpkin. So we want to push it in. So it keeps it from wobbling around, okay? So you just you want to keep it like that. Now if I shake it, yeah, of course it'll wobble, okay? But it's not wobbling around just from grabbing it like that. It just moves around just like all the other stems and everything on here. So this is my height, okay? So now what I want to do is any of the greenery that's already in there, I'm just moving it around and making sure that it's in front of the stick that I put on the pumpkin so it covers it. So just make sure you cover the stick with something and make sure there's some greenery. If there isn't, move some things around and put it in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna put another two pumpkins. Um, I like the green here, and then I think I'm gonna go with this burgundy one because I do have this orange, but I do already have an orange in here. Um, what I'm thinking maybe perhaps, maybe I'll go with a smaller one. Things don't have to be you know, even, okay? You don't have to make them completely even. You can use a little bit of um, extras on one side with the uh, smaller item than, than you do with the other one, just to kind of balance it out. If you feel like, no, my eyes don't accept that, then go ahead and put two exact same items on each side, but you don't have to. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Poke a hole with this. I'm actually pushing some glue in there while I'm at it. Okay, so now I'm gonna put one of these pumpkins on the other side, and I only needed one little stick on it because it is long enough to go in because I'm putting it way in here at the bottom up against the edge here of my container so now the other one I put it I want to put it on the other side okay okay so I'm just maneuvering the greenery so it's not hiding that little pumpkin I'm actually gonna insert it I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna insert more of an angle because it was way like the stem was way too tall and it didn't look right so I'm gonna put it like this at an angle so that's another thing you should uh, pay attention to, close attention to when you're adding something. Now, I'm looking at it through the my viewfinder, but I can't really tell, it's too far away. So I'm gonna put it in front of me and look at it. And I feel like it has to be a little bit more over to the side. So I'm gonna lift it out and put it in again. There we go. Just like that. I just pulled it over a little more to the side. Okay, so now I can get some berries and I've got some right here. And then I also have those flowers, excuse me, those flowers that I want to add in. So I'm going to take these berries and this got a really long stem. Now I'm going to give you a little hint here. Uh, some of you probably already know this. 
Um, if you have a really long stem, you can bend it, which is what I'm going to do because I want to be able to reuse this, especially when it's something seasonal. If it's something that, you know, I'm just going to keep there all the time and it's going to be there all year, then I don't even bother. I go ahead and I cut it to the size that I want and make it nice. But in this case, because it's something seasonal that I'm going to pull out and I might want the whole length, I'm going to go ahead and fold the stem, but twist it around so it's not a mess. And then you just want to press in that part where it's folded really nice. And there we go, we've got our little berries with a shorter stem to stick in there. So I'm gonna push that right behind this pumpkin. And then what you do is you move, move the little berries around on, on your stem. Don't leave them all straight, you know, make them look like, you know, they've been moving around with the wind or maybe a little, a little critter crawl through there and move things around, okay? And bring this greenery a little bit here in the front. So here we go, I've got this little berries right here, and I want to do something over here as well. Okay, so now I put that in there, okay? Now, so now I've got still a little more weight because like, this pumpkin is bigger, so now I can go ahead and add some more berries on this other side, or I can take another small little pumpkin and put it right in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and take these berries, they've already got the stem already folded. What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to trim this one, I'm gonna sacrifice one of these stems, and I'm gonna go all the way down to the net to the I want this whole little branch here okay and I want this one to become another one so I'm gonna go as close as I can to this one right here and snip right above it that gives me plenty of length here to stick in and then I don't have like an odd stick sticking out of there so now I've got two stems okay so I'm gonna take one of these I think I wanted to use this one because the stems a little bit longer and it could be a little bit taller and I'm gonna push this on the other side of this pumpkin to balance that out. Now, I'm gonna take these cream flowers, these cream colored flowers, and I'm gonna use them in my arrangement. This one's nice and short, so I'm gonna put this one here in the front, and again, I wanna kinda of push it in at an angle, not like this. If you do do that, you could fold it over like that because you want your, you wanna see the flowers from the front. Now from the top, you know, you want to see an arrangement from the front. And so I'm going to push that one right in here. And I did fold it a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it like that. And there we go. Now I have filled in this little space here. That also makes sure that I don't see the stick on the pumpkin. Now I've got a nice tall branch here and I've got this extra green here that I, I can't have here because it'll keep me from being able to insert this into my arrangement. I'm gonna bring these little leaves down a little bit and I'm gonna actually put some glue so they don't keep sliding. Okay, now I'm gonna put this behind the pumpkin back here to give it some height, but I'm going to kind of lean it towards that side. That also gives more balance to this side of the, of the uh, arrangement because as you know, we have the big pumpkin over here. So I'm gonna take this one here I've got something in my eye, <laughs> sorry about that. And I'm gonna put this back here. Kind of peeking right behind these berries, right there. Now you can decide where you wanna place your flowers. I'm gonna look at it and I'm going to say, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and move this flower a little bit more, you know, a little bit upper, higher, whatever you wanna call this. I had it way down here and I moved it up a little bit more after looking at it from the front and I decided that I'd rather have the berries making the light rather than the flower. So there we go. And now this flower, just make sure that it's facing forward and not straight up. And then I've got this extra berries back here that are hidden, so I'm taking them out and I'm gonna put them right in front of the pumpkin, right behind this other flower. Okay. I just put it right in there just a little filler right there and I think that looks lovely just as it is it really doesn't need any more uh, if you feel like you you want to add more more orange to it or whatever fall colors uh, you want to use go right ahead uh, let me use this as an example I don't think I want to add more to it but I don't know maybe I will how does this look okay I'm gonna put them in there but I'm actually going to take them out because 
I think all I want is a bow. And I think that'll add the brown and oranges that I want in there. And I've got, of course, I've got the little orange and reddish colors already on my little uh, berries here. And I've got it on my pumpkin. So that balances off really well enough for me. But let's say we wanted to put some. So then all you do is just take some little stems. And look, I'm using flowers that I got. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to cut right now. I'll be right back. All right, everyone, I'm choking a little bit. I think it's from the dust from the uh, flowers here. I just want you to notice something. I'm using a flower from Hobby Lobby, and I'm using a flower from the Dollar Tree, and they look perfectly fine together. Look at that, you guys. Now, if there's a flower that you really, really love, let's say you go to Hobby Lobby or some other store like that, Michael's, maybe even with a sale, it's maybe a little bit too much, but you really want it, then go ahead and invest in that. And then just take yourself maybe one of the stems when you cut it off, if you buy it in a bush, or take a picture of it and take it to you, with you to uh, the Dollar Tree or someplace less expensive, maybe even Dollar General, and get yourself some florals to fill in for that one beautiful flower that you found that you really want to use. And I would really highly recommend using also the greenery, uh, the fall greenery that... Um, the Dollar Tree has. It's really pretty. I would use it. I'm going to go ahead and grab some. I know that I have probably a maybe one little bush or a couple of little uh, things there, but I think I'm going to use them on this one. I'm not going to use it on this because I think it's already full, but let's go ahead and add these little flowers just so you can see. And when I get to the other arrangement, I'm just going to go ahead and decorate it and you can watch me. And I don't have to give you much instruction because it's pretty much what I'm doing in this one. Now, Again, if this wasn't tall enough, you would take a little stick. Now, if you don't want to use any wire, you don't have to. I'm just going to use some tape real quick because, like I said, I'm taking this off right away. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it in there, you guys. <laughs> you guys can tell me. No, you should have taken it off. Okay. There we go. Add some of this in here. Oh, that looks so pretty, actually. And maybe this doesn't even need a bow. No, I'm going to put a bow. Okay. So here we go, you guys. <clears throat> What is it, little guy? That's my cat. He say, stop talking, mama, and give me some food or some something nice. It's not even time for that, you guys, it's, but it is time for a T-R-E-A-T. -E I can't say the word. Those of you who have animals know you can't say it unless you're going to give them something. And there you go. I put a little bow on it. So this is what it's looking like, you guys. I think it looks really cute. I actually think those little flowers aren't really too much and it's maybe just a little bit of a touch that I needed and as you saw I put them here but I didn't put one over here because I was going to put the bow there. All right so I've removed all the flowers and pretty much all the greenery out of my arrangement. My arrangement had a lot of uh, this very green ivy, very springy looking ivy so I decided that I don't eat that. I'm going to go ahead and put it over to the side. I might grab it. I don't know. <laughs> but I do have these autumn. These are maple leaves from the Dollar Tree, and they're so pretty. Look at that, can we get them close to you? Um, the arrangement did have some pink flowers and I took those out and then had these yellow flowers and I thought I would leave them in because I thought, well, you know, there's yellow in autumn, but I'm thinking maybe it's a little too, too yellow, too springy. So I'm gonna put them over to the side because I'm probably, I might not use them. We'll put them over to the side. And then it also had these much more like whiter, creamy, these are like, I think they're peonies. And then of course it had this, just a couple of these uh, stems of this hydrangea, it's a cream color. I think it's beautiful. I wish I had more of that. I don't know um, from where I got them that I only have two. I may have sold whatever else I had, so I don't have that. Okay, so, because usually I like to work in odd numbers, three, five, seven, up. okay. I'm gonna put these aside as well. I might use those, may not, depending if I need a filler. Now I have these larger pumpkins. And then I used a couple in the arrangement that I now put down there at the bottom. Uh, but I also had a bunch of these little ones and I had them on a wreath, so I took them off and I'm gonna recycle them. They have this on the chenille server where they were tied onto the wreath. I'm gonna remove that and put little sticks in there. I don't think I'm gonna put a bow on my centerpiece, so I'm just gonna put that over to the side. And then of course I still have some flowers here. And then I'm looking at this one. <clears throat> and this is actually a better yellow or rather a gold than the roses. So I think I'm gonna use this now. This is supposed to be a hydrangea according to the manufacturer of this flower, which looks a lot like a hydrangea to me. This one's from the Dollar Tree and it does say that it's a hydrangea, 
but it's a little bit of a bigger flower but you know what I don't care what it is if it is a hydrangea or not because it is different enough I think from this other hydrangea that I'm gonna go ahead and mix it in so I'm gonna use this one as well and then of course I still have a couple of this one and I have the bittersweet and some of the wheat and the berries so we'll see what I'm going to do so I'm gonna go ahead and start off <clears throat> I'm probably not going to give you as much direction on this one because pretty much what you did over there is what I'm going to do here, except that instead of just uh, concentrating on one side of it, I'm going to be looking at all sides and, you know, balancing it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to start off by finding a height, and I think I'm going to balance it off because I have all these kind of creams here with a little bit of a cream up here, and I think this is the highest I want to go. I don't want to go any higher. So now i got to build a little stick to put into it. Okay, this one is light enough that uh, I could actually just put it right there and it would be fine, but it's still not long enough to go in. So I'm gonna take another little stick and add some more length to it. And I have enough here for my other items, so I'm not gonna worry. Okay, so that's done. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on it. Like I said, you don't have to add glue if you don't want to make things too permanent. You wanna just pull it out easily. There we go. I have a naughty little kitty cat. Even though he's getting old, he still likes to do naughty things, so he'll knock things over. So what I'm going to do is now is I'm going to be adding all my little pumpkins in the positions that I want them, and then I'm going to fill between them with some of the flowers and the leaves. So that's what you're going to see me doing, okay? Oh, and I think I am going to recycle these, these ferns, these little stem of fern that I have, because I, I really like that type of leaf. And then I also have this other one that had these little pumpkins, and I was going to use them in, in this arrangement, but actually, when I was going through my house to go grab some things, the fall leaves, I saw another arrangement that I thought, oh, I have to do that arrangement too, so I'm gonna save some of these for that. And that one is a, an even bigger one, so I'm gonna use it for that. Okay. I'm going to save these two, just in case. Put them over to the side. Okay. bit that looks nice I think what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and add some greenery some leaves in this case and that's my key again I just gave him I gave you something I gave you something don't be naughty I'll be back as soon as I'm done cutting all these leaves okay so I want to put some of these leaves here that I've cut up but I want them to be high enough to do that and the stems on them on these little bushes I've cut them as, as close as I can to the bottom so I have the, the most length on them but some of, they're still too short so I'm going to add these little, the little sticks here and then I'm just going to you can again you can wire it I'm going to skip the wiring and I'm just going to go ahead and just go straight to the taping there we go because it's not a heavy item like that pumpkin on that other arrangement is so really just some floral tape will help as long as there's enough you know where they're overlapping each other and this one had, you know, little extra leaves on it, so I thought this would be perfect to put in the center here with this little pumpkin because I can push it down enough so it'll hide the stick. So I've hidden it on this side, so now I have to do it so that you don't see the stick, you know, like through here, for example, okay? So let me find the other, there's the other one. It has 
I do have two of these little bushes, so I'm doing good. And I'm going to add a stick to this one as well. And then I'll just continue adding the rest of the greenery. There you go, as you can see, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to add some of these berries as well. I still have a little couple of stems there, so I might use those. And let me see. Let me trim these. them out. The berries. Now I'm going to add some on the opposite side. I think that looks so pretty with the berries in there. That really adds a really nice touch to it. All I have left over is this little tiny piece, so that's not really much to fill. Let me use these last two bits. So I'm going to put this one right under the pumpkin right here. And then this one on the other side. It's got some bit from the, the tag. And I bend them a little bit, okay? Just a little bit there. And put that on the other side and push it into us. There's a lot of little holes in my styrofoam now because I've reused that same styrofoam. I've taken out flowers, put some other flowers in. So it's going to be time on my next arrangement to go ahead and replace that. Okay, I've used enough of these flowers. I don't think I'm going to use any more. I'm sort of pushing things out of the way because I feel like, like it's a little too much stuff here in front of you, confusing you, <laughs> what you're seeing. So that's all I'm doing. Uh, I'm not going to put a bow on it, like I said, not on this one. Let's see. I'm trying to decide between these two whether I want these little wheat or if I want this. now. I really like these little bittersweet uh, little stems, these little flowers. They're so pretty. These are from the Dollar Tree as well, you guys, and they're so pretty. And they make a really nice filler for any arrangement or even like a, on a wreath. Just, just a nice little, little bit of something to just stick here and there into, some, you know, into an arrangement. So look at that. They're so pretty. But the reason that I'm not going to use them, and there's a couple of reasons. <laughs> which I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. The reason that I'm not going to use this is because I have a lot of orange already in here and I just broke a little twig. I have a lot of orange in here and this is orange. Also, I have these little berries and they're maroonish and kind of orangey gold color. And these little things have this little berry on them also as well. Now there's nothing wrong with maybe adding another different berry, but I just feel like it's just a little bit too much. And maybe you think this is already too much and I don't need to add any more, but I am going to add some more. <laughs> so I'm not, but I'm not going to use these even though I wanted to use those. I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of this wheat, ble, ble, in French. It says right on the tag, I'm not, you know. You know, I took French, but I don't remember any of it because I don't write in practice. But anyway, that is what it says on the tag. And I can't tell you if that's accurate or not, but, or even if I said it right. Okay, so here we go. These are my little, uh, Wheat. Now, when you saw it like that, of course, it'll really fall. And that, that I, I always like to open up my, my bush like that. That sounds terrible. I like to open up the uh, wheat bush like that. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't help it. Okay. So I like to open this up and uh, then kind of like imagine them in there. So this is this is what I this is the way that I do it. Because uh, in case you're wondering, well, how do you how do you decide what you want to use or what you want to pick in there? Uh, and maybe this information, some of you are just thinking, oh, I don't need to know that. I already know, or whatever, or I can figure it out myself. But there's people that have asked me that. How do you, how do you decide what flowers to use? The way that I decide is just by looking at it, really, and then deciding. Well, I bring up several things that I have 
you know, whatever I have available in my house. I bring it all out and I end up like deciding whether I'm going to use it or not. And But I like to introduce everything to myself and show it to myself and look at it. And then I'll just kind of hold it up against and I imagine it inside of the arrangement. And then I decide that, you know what, I do like it in there. I do want it in there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off some bits off of it. Now, when I end up cutting things off of a, a, off of a little stem, off of a bush stem here, I just go ahead and cut off all the stems because they'll already be cut for my next one. I, now, some of you might feel like, no, I want to leave them on there. I'm not going to use them. This keeps them all together and I don't have to worry. Then fine, you can go ahead and do that. But I like to cut them off. I'm not cutting it off at this point. I just put it off to the side, as you saw. So let me go ahead and do what I said I do. I like to cut them all off. And then I just put them together in, in a little container that I where I keep everything. And that way, if I only want one or two, I just grab one or two. I don't have to pull out the whole thing. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to grab these that have this little kind of a leaf on them. And I'm going to use those. And I'm just going to stick them here and there. And I'm picking this little spot here. Just my eye tells me to do that. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. I think I want to put like four of them. like, And then maybe like opposites here. But I would like the other ones to be a little bit higher. So again, I'm going to take two that have that little leaf and I'm going to save the rest for another project and on these two I'm going to add some little sticks and I need my floral tape so I'll be back as soon as I've done putting this on there okay so I've gone ahead and I put the little sticks to make these stems a little bit longer and they'll be taller and I can direct these a little bit more towards the center but I don't want to put them right here I want to put them like so and push that in just enough where I can see the wheat and then I, I bent it a little bit at the top too so it because it, here's the pumpkin and I stuck it right in next to the pumpkin. So they're gonna be like kind of fighting with each other. So I bent the weed a little bit, okay? Just bent it a little bit so it's not right up against it. Okay, opposite of that, I'm gonna do it on the other side. So I'm gonna turn this around and put this in right there. And I'm actually also, again, bending the little weed so it's not hitting up against the pumpkin. So there we go. Little wheat, little wheat, kind of away from the little pumpkin in the middle. See it from this side. And you guys, I think this is it. The way that I know that I'm going to stop is because I can look through it and I really, I do see some stems, but it's not so much at the right, like so obvious in my face, okay? Now, if you got a picky person that likes to come to your house and just really get in there then that's their problem not yours so if you think this is good enough and you, you're feeling like you know what i do see a little bit of stems but they're not so obvious i don't see tape or anything like that i don't see styrofoam in there everything's pretty covered and that's where you decide to stop now i had to put aside these fern leaves because i thought i would use them but you know what like i said you can change your mind well i don't think i said that but i've said that in other videos i can change my mind and i'm not going to use them so there we go, you guys. This arrangement is now complete. I'll go ahead and bring out the other one so that you can look at both of them again. All right, everyone, here I am with my two completed projects. I have taken uh, silk floral arrangements and I have transformed them for fall. So here's my centerpiece. This will be gracing my little table here. And then of course I've got this other arrangement that I will be sitting down here in my little shelf. So I can sit here, have my little breakfast, speak with you know, have a little talk with my husband, a little coffee, whatever, and then I can look at my arrangements and feel really proud of what I've done. So like I said, you can take an expensive flower. If you really, really like it, go ahead and treat yourself to something like that. And as you can see, you can mix it together with other less expensive florals and greenery and make a really nice arrangement. And don't forget to recycle things that you already have. Use the flowers if they're neutral colors, or they're earth tone colors that you can. If you want to have blue in your fall, put some blue in there. You want to have some pink, go ahead. You you choose what you like for yourself. Don't let somebody else tell you that's not fall or Christmas or whatever. It's your home. Decorate it for yourself. Okay, everyone, I hope that you really enjoyed this little tutorial. And I know it was kind of long and kind of, you know, winded. So there we go, everyone. I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And uh, hit that little notification bell that lets you know that I have videos that I put up every Tuesday and every Friday and once in a while I have a weekend vlog. 
So if you like to enjoy that, those are my little video dates. Anyway, everyone, if you have any suggestions, again, leave a nice comment down below of what you would like to see next. I'm going to be getting started on some Christmas pretty soon. I don't know if I'm going to do another fall, but I do want to do some bow making, so I'm going to go ahead and fill that in somewhere uh, to just do something different from what I've already done in the past. All right, everyone, make sure you share on your social medias, and as always, enjoy.